Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I brought my friend and he's from Diamond and he's going to be teaching us what to do in a laning phase so we can play better and easier. Honestly saying, I'm not that good in the laning phase either, so we'll both learn from this and hopefully it helps all of you the same way it helps. Yes sir, yes sir. Oh shit, still here, I forgot. Let's continue. Huh? I resume? Resume the game. Now I know what everyone's thinking. I was like, oh my god, he wrote the phase wrong on the thumbnail. I know, I did that on purpose. Do you know why? The purpose is I'm stupid as fuck, so I do that. Let's continue. So Alright, so... I'm good, homie. How you doing, bro? Doing good as well. All right, what's up, uh, everyone's uh, subscribers and obedient viewers? Oh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Um, he can't really see me right now, but every come here, come here, come here. So, uh, depending on which side you start in, the best thing you could do as a mid laner is ward the uh, Raptors around like 122 to or earlier like 120 the the word i usually go for is uh, i word uh, where i'm standing i'll just show you that thing i word here but uh, most of the time if like you know i have time i'm going to word in this bush i just worded it right now and then it gives you uh Reason for the enemy jungler yeah information can see one thing about being in low elo is that People actually have no fucking clue on, on, on how to use a, use the map. So what they do is they just wait for pings from anyone or, or they just wait to blame somebody. Oh, why didn't assess or oh, why didn't you do that? Why didn't you do this? So I think the most important thing to do after learning how to farm is learning how to just look down on your right to your map and figure out what the fuck is going on. Because around like maybe... Uh, how, uh, 30 seconds from now, the enemy jungler will pass by that ward that I placed. Uh, or, if he doesn't pass by that ward, in the next like 10 seconds, he'll pass by that ward to go topside. So you will always know which side he's going, and which side he's going to gank from. So it's not a wasted ward that you're gonna ward the, the, one of these uh, river bushes next to you. It's a ward that uh, will grant information for you and your entire team, as long as you, you, you know, you're, you're a ping ping person i mean i don't really ping because i play with him all the time so i i just tell him like yo jungler is there or jungler is there i mean nowadays i don't even do that he just looks at it looks at it himself but it's really important that you make sure to uh to check now for laning phase uh, i'm against a uh, oriana here and i decided to play a melee champion into a range champion that has a lot of fucking poke just to show you that you can win no matter which lane, which champion or matchup you're against, as long as you play it right. You play it to your advantages instead of to the enemy's advantages. As you can see, I'm above CS, and my lane is pushing, and I'm in a good spot to start poking. I, I could, I could uh, combo him right now, but since I'm talking, we won't do that. Yeah. We'll just miss a few minions here, it's fine. Another thing that people always fuck up when they're playing any lane, mid, bot, top, is they think that uh, the first f couple of waves are so important that they don't mind taking a lot of fucking poke for it, and it's not good. You, you, it's okay to miss to miss a couple of minions. Even if you don't have like a ranged ability to farm, just miss the minions, it's fine. It's not worth giving 300 gold to the enemy to, because even if the enemy, enemy uh, player is, is worse than you, if they play a champion that counters your champion, it doesn't matter how good you play if they're fed. They're just gonna fuck your ass. So again, see these these these, these minions are gonna push to me. I'm gonna miss maybe one or two here, but at the end, I'm still going to to uh, lead in CS, and I could also uh, start poking here and see. You also, it's good to know the champions' matchups. Uh, and what to play against that champion? I, if this is or this is an Oriana, I picked a Z into it, and I know Oriana's uh, uh, cooldown. Some of some of her cooldown, so I know how to play around her shield and around her abilities. See, she's gonna she's gonna shield. See that point there? She could have either shielded herself or look for a, a, a trade, 
a trade, a trade. And and if she traded well there, because usually they would just look for uh uh Shisma. A good trade. I could kill her here. Because that's what they do, they get greedy. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> You see, if if that when when that happens, you know, like you you uh, you can play a champion that has uh, a specific amount of uh, cooldowns. Like for example, when I play Zed, I I really know exactly all his cooldowns, and I know how to bait enemies into my abilities rather than try and landing them myself. You know, because every everyone who who uh, who plays a ranged champion into a melee champion or vice versa. They try to abuse it as much as they can because like, damn man, I'm playing a ranged champion, I might as well fucking do something with it. And uh, they end up fucking up yeah, by, you know, by panicking or something or, I mean, not really panicking, they just like, they try too hard to, to poke you that they end up taking more of the poke themselves. Like, he just, he just ate a tower shot there for no reason trying to, to hit me with an ability, you know? So look, now, now my lane is pushing, I could have backed over there, but... Uh, this is just a, like a 1v1 scenario. If this was a game, I would have killed her, tried, used all my abilities to push and then just back. Or or just back immediately. It depends on, on who the enemy jungler is. Like if it's like a Shaco or something, maybe a Twitch jungle, Khazix, anyone with a dash like a Sin, I would have just backed. Like fuck it, the minions are not that important. She's gonna push back into me anyways. See now that the wave is stopped, I could just back here. And by the time I get back to the to the... To the lane, it's gonna. It's either gonna be pushed in, or or not. See, it it depends. Like, th right now he knows that I'm I'm playing with him, and he knows that I backed, and he's going to try his best to hard to hard shove that wave. So I miss a miss a wave. But usually, you know, you you like you push your lane, then you like hide somewhere behind the, some the sh uh, fog of war, and uh, at the, at the end. They won't know that you backed, and they're gonna slow push or play carefully. So by the time you come back, you have a two way. Excuse me. Two waves stacked up, waiting for you. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I I got a kill already, and I'm 44 CS in. I have a good item, and it's it's uh, uh, Oriana's uh, abilities are gonna start damaging me way more than my abilities are gonna start to damage her. You see, like I I I I, I hit a trade, but. At the end, my HP is lower than hers, so what I usually do here is uh, either try to push the lane as hard as I can or ask help from my jungler to help me push this lane and I would fake recall and uh, go to another lane. Cause th uh, in low elo, they don't ward, they really they really don't. Or And even if they do ward, it's not like they're like really checking it, you know, so uh, you, whenever I go... What's up with it? So now, now you said that ask help from the jungler to push your lane, but we're talking about low elo. The chances of all jungler helping us push the lane is very low. What should I do? With that? Yeah, that's true. See, uh, what I do, okay, uh, if if I like, let's say, let's say that uh, my account is uh, silver four, I would never, never play the champions that I play in uh, the elo that I play in. I would never do that. I would never play a Zed or a Yasuo. Uh, I would never play like Elise or actually maybe I would never play those mechanical champions that require your team to to play around you. You want you want to play a champion like Graves, yeah. K uh, Kale, you know, because if you know how to just just the most important thing, there's three things to do just to get out of uh, bronze, iron, silver, and gold, yeah. and it's farm, rotate, and awareness. Those are the three most important things that. That you have to uh, take care of. Like you, you can play any champion. Like I'm very like I don't know. I'm really bad at landing uh, skill shots most of the time. But I I have like what maybe 60% win rate with this champion just because I know how to farm the enemies, uh, uh, farm the uh, just my farm the minions. Hold on. Oh, oh nice. I have mana. I'll just stand there. <laughs> I don't have HP. <laughs> I see. Uh, see, you, if if this was a normal game, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't like back or. I would actually try to to, to uh, kill him, but you know, it, just for the sake of the for, for the sake of the tutorial, like you want to play safe. You want to know what you're doing. You want to know 
how to how to do it especially like dying now we're gonna talk about dying and and a good death because there are good deaths and they are bad there are bad deaths uh playing kda okay being a kda player is a misconception like oh kda players suck i mean yeah they kind of do suck if they only play for themselves but uh at the end of the day they, they also want to win you know they they do they do want to win i mean not all of them I, a, a high percentage of them want to win but uh where you want to be is in between a kda player and someone who knows when they should die when they should sacrifice or when they should uh trade a kill for a kill you know like for example right now i'm one zero okay if i kill oriana right here and i die it's actually way more worse for me because my lane is going to push he's gonna miss that whole wave i was gonna die anyways somewhere down the line i might as well die and not get a give a shutdown to somebody so dying is fine and, and even though I, I probably would maybe could have killed her and and survived too and now you know uh let's say that there is a fed renekton uh, in top lane and you're playing a mid laner let's say uh, an assassin you know and you guys are like uh, a lot this much in the game 11 minutes you know your mid laners are nine your bot laners are like seven and the top laners are maybe maybe 10 you know but the renekton let's just say he's 11. All right, yeah. Uh, your top laner, let's say he's like like around 11. Oh wait, let me just break down what I did over there. So earlier, when I was talking about uh, dying to him and the lane pushing, uh, he 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 pushed the lane by himself. You know, like any other mid laner would do, trying to gain control of the lane. And I let it happen. I let the lane push because if I were to do that same combo where I where I'm standing right now, I would die. I I would die and possibly get the kill but it would it wouldn't be worth it at, at that stage i might as well get the kill i'll be able to push this wave back and by the time i come back to the to the uh to the lane m my minions will be waiting for me and maybe maybe i'm gonna lose like three minions maybe uh, i did a bad uh, position here i could have back to i mean if if it wasn't an oriana if it was like a i don't know uh, no, no, Yasuo is easy to push also. Like a Cassidy or something. You know, you could have just backed like where where you are there. So, what some people want to know is some people, they know how to farm, they know how to laning phase, but even though they do know these things, they still are unable to roam. How can you help them with that? For so, example, me, like I, I know how to farm and everything, but uh, I, I I always mess up my roam timing. Alright, okay, okay. This is this is what I usually do. Okay, uh, when when I first uh, started to like try to get better at the game and learning about um, wave management, roaming, and farming, vision. Uh, the hardest thing I had to learn how to do was how to roam. It's not how to farm or how to land skill shots. Just just how when do I have to fucking leave? Like what where where do I go? When do I leave and how do I do it? So it's all about what you do with your wave. Okay, if the wave is crashing into me, chances are I'm not gonna leave unless I know that the value of me going bot lane is way more than the value of my mid laner. One, pushing the lane. Two, me missing XP. Her getting uh, uh, turret platings and more XP than I am. Nice. And her getting more XP than I can get is not being scared. Because if you're confident in your ability to be able to catch up with farm, with your ability to be able to take back control of the lane, even if your roam failed, which is bad, really, really bad. Because one of the worst things that can happen is if you roam and it fails, you know? You miss minions, then you miss xp then she gets ahead then you lose your lead and now you're back to square one you know it's best to always roam when you're ahead like right now i'm 2-0 uh, 101 cs you're leading in cs i could just go this way right now maybe circle around back like you can see me with the ward he i'll circle around back go from back there kill 
kill her without using my ultimate ability. Okay. And then now I can run. You see, like I'm gonna leave this. Like I'm gonna, I can leave these minions here. You know, and I roam, and by the time I come back, I will have like a whole wave, just a wave, a wave and a half stacked up for me, and uh, maybe a kill or two bot lane. And another thing, okay, you need to know how to use your summoner spells as a laner, okay? Uh, don't be scared to use your spells, but make sure that when you use them, you're not using them for nothing. A lot of, a lot of low elo players, their worst mistake is uh, wasting an ignite or wasting a flash on a kill or wasting an exhaust on on someone who who, who doesn't deal damage or even missing an uh, uh, missing a summoner spell on on someone else when you meant to 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 land it on on another person so what i usually do okay is i don't ignite late i try to ignite early because it it like kind of like doubles your your damage and uh, reduces healing and you get like a, a kind of like a scare on them because when when they see that they're burning, they they will probably know that damn ignite deals a lot of damage. They might not know it deals true damage. They know it deals a lot of damage. They're not gonna try to attack you back. They're gonna try to run away. But if you just alt, like if I just alt him, he's gonna try to attack me back. Oh, nice move speed. He's gonna try to attack me back. But if I was like just uh, alted him and used my abilities. While I ignited him during my ult, he would just try to run away. He'll be like, "Fuck! He could probably kill me here," and then you will, because at that point, you know, you're like, you landed your abilities. Uh, he's already low enough. The ignite's gonna finish him off by then, depending on who you play. Like, uh, I usually play assassins, but I've been getting into top lane lately. And uh, if you are a top laner, uh, I'm just gonna 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 say this quickly. If you're a top laner. I, I believe the best thing you can ever do is just take TP. You have no use for ignite. Even if you lose lane early, top lane champions are not meant to, you know, carry an early game. They're meant to to power through the late game. So it doesn't matter if you if you lose lane, as long as you win the game. You're gonna be playing maybe a hard lane. You're gonna be 20 CS down, 30 CS down. But in low elo, they don't know how to abuse the lead, so they're gonna start to to leave. You know, they're gonna go somewhere else. And once that happens, then you can start farming. Oh shit. Once, once they start to, to like uh, realize like, oh, this guy is fucking weak. Let me go kill someone else. Or you can even like, I've won games where I went like zero six, and then uh, at the end I'm like fucking maybe like what, twelve ten or I mean not not the best, but I, I'm very useful there, you know. Oh shit. No, you leveled up. <laughs> it's not. It wasn't even the level up. It was the eclipse. Uh, so now we're gonna, yeah. Now we're gonna talk about items uh, and 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 how to build your 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 uh, how to build properly. Okay, and a uh, big part about this is what ruins to take. Now people think that uh, sometimes ruins don't matter, and sometimes they don't. Sometimes uh, you could play. Uh, uh, like Conquer with Zed, you could play. Uh, you can even play Arcane Comet with Zed. Not that it's better, but it's viable. You know, you could you could do that if you if you want to. But let's let's talk about uh, how to pick your runes properly and how to. I I, I, think, uh, I think it's best that we don't go into so much detail because we already told them a lot, so they might get confused. So let's keep it as basic as possible and maybe explain runes and itemizations. In more detail in another video, if that's okay. Yeah, like, yeah, that's cool. Uh, so uh, instead of instead of talking about runes, let's just talk about abilities, okay? Uh, there are champions, okay, where you need to have cooldown reduction, and you need to have, uh, you you need to realize like, oh shit, I need this or I need that. I can't do this right now. I'm gonna waste my ability. It's very important not to be wasteful. But at the same time, you have to know when to use your abilities. You can't be selfish with them because you have them for a fucking reason. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, low elo players make the mistake of either using the abilities too much or just not using them at all. And it's fucked up because you would either just win the lane too hard or lose the lane too hard depending on, on, on which type you are. Now, if you're playing a mana champion, 
okay, uh, a man, a mid laner like Oriana, let's say. The right thing that he did is, uh, first thing is, oh yeah, wait, 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 I was gonna talk about items. How do I, how do I say, uh, there's no way I can talk about abilities without talking about items, dude. It's okay, it's okay, go to some items. Uh huh, what did you it's say? Okay. It's okay, keep going, keep going. Yalla, okay. So, uh, let's say right now, uh, this Oriana was instead of, instead of against, um, uh, actually, let's say, yeah, this Oriana is against the Zed. Now, uh, I, I, I watched this video a long time ago about, uh, what you should do when, when you're losing lane. Like, for example, this Oriana right now is losing, uh, four kills and, uh, but she's winning in CS, but there's a big amount of damage gap over here. So what what is she gonna do? She has two options, okay? She could either uh, build more uh, armor, which is what she's doing right now. Probably gonna go uh, Zonya's next item. Or build more damage. Now, what they expect you to do is they expect you to build armor. They expect you to go... Uh, safe they expect you to maybe buy a zonya as a cloth uh, magic resist item and excuse me honestly i think the best thing that you could do instead of buying uh uh defensive is buy more offensive like look at this damage that she dealt to me and i'm four kills ahead of her and that was with one qw combo imagine if instead of going a cloth armor he went to like another uh amplifying tome I think that if you're losing, it's just better to... I mean, not, not losing too hard. Like, if you're losing too hard, sure, maybe you should go a little cloth armor. Or even if you're winning. I, I actually think when you're winning, it's better to go defensive than uh, than more of, than more offensive, depending on who you're playing, you know? Like, for example, let's say I was against uh, uh, a set mid. If I was against a set mid, I would not build uh, TM at second item. I would probably go Black Cleaver. Or I would like go like a Yomo, so I would just fuck off from the lane because it's a bullshit lane, and you're not gonna win against uh, against the set, you know. But it's better to go uh, a damage item instead of a instead of a defensive item when you're when you're losing because they get taken by surprise. Like what the fuck? Since when? Nice. You see, you see what he did there. He's utilizing his, yeah, uh, his, his, yeah, his move speed, which is what I said, like, do not be scared to use your abilities, you know, like, he, he used his, his move speed and I couldn't land a single fucking Q. If, if you know what you're doing, you know, and how to dodge and how to, how to use your abilities and your cooldowns properly and how to know the enemy's cooldowns, like, as soon as, as he tried to Q me over there, I immediately ulted him. And then as soon as I ulted him, I, I knew that he was going to shield himself, and when the ball was on him, he could ult himself, and I would have just died. Or or maybe, uh, you know, uh, not be uh, as much HP as I am today, uh, as I am right now, to, to stay here and continue laning. So, I know that I know her, most of her, her, her uh, abilities and how she uses them, and what she can't do with it. Like, look, look at that, look at that, like, she's just queuing me and queuing me and queuing me. If I was, if I had my ult then, as soon as that Q hits, I would have ulted. And then I would walk back, walk away from her, so that when she ults, I can just dodge it really quickly and then try to use my abilities, maybe try to land something. So I suggest, you know, if you your your goal is to, like, climb a lot, just play Aram, you know? Like, find these uh, champions, you know? Yeah, like, look at, like, find the cooldowns and, and, uh, oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> nice dude. Uh -huh, you forgot. Uh, I, forgot. Oh, no. I think it was like one. That reason. <laughs> it I was one second for that reason. reason. Even though even though right. I was saying that like I should not buy defensive, but like he's playing Zed. My best item choice against Zed is always a Zonias. By by so, buying Zonias, I I make most of the abilities useless. Like right now, if we probably weren't in um, recording and it was an online game, I would have probably Zonias is also. I don't take as much damage. 
And yeah, even though I'm 0-5, I'm still able to poke him. I'm still able to keep up with farm. I'm not afraid to use my mana at all. That's 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 what it's there for, to use it. Don't be afraid to use your mana in lane to farm minions. I realize this with mages most of the time. People are scared to use their mana abilities. So they don't want to waste it. So when they can get to fight, they use it. But that's a very bad idea because like... If you don't use your mana mana abilities to farm, then you're not gonna be able to have that much damage yeah. in the fight. You're saving them. See, like almost every every mid lane champion, they have a spammable ability. You know, that that doesn't cost as much mana as you think it does. You see, you, yeah. Now 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 I'm 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 way too ahead. Like there there's like almost no comeback for for this this uh, Oriana. Except if there was a bot lane. Like, if there was a bot lane or top lane, and I was this Oriana, I would just fuck off from it. I wouldn't go there. Let her, let him take the turret. Let the Zed uh, farm. Let the Zed roam another lane. Make sure you SS too. Uh, you don't want him to get too ahead, but there is nothing. There is li literally nothing that he can do here that will stop me from 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 winning this lane. It's it just might as well, you know, go go somewhere else. Fuck off. Uh, try try to get fed. From another lane because this is just over. This this lane is. Yeah, I can't do this. Not... Damn, bro! Take damage. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you see. Now he 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 used to deal a lot of damage to me, but with my with my proper itemization, he just can't. It, there's like nothing. There's nothing he can do, even if. I dived him there. I would have still won that. Maybe I would have taken uh, tower damage, but I would have still won, won, won the fight. So when you're losing lane, you could just fuck off. You can always just fuck off, and then your team is gonna be like, "Oh, what the fuck are you doing? You're gonna come to troll my lane? Fuck them, whatever." You know, you're you're, you're losing anyways. You know, maybe they don't want you there, but if you trust your ability, like, okay, I, I know I could do something. I believe that that if I was there, we could kill someone or or whatever. Like, I could. You, I, uh, utilize my abilities well, because sometimes you're more than just a champion. You know, there are u utility champions that are just so useful, no matter how uh, behind they are. Like, let's say Nautilus. You know, it doesn't matter if you're if you're like zero fucking ten with Nautilus. You're so useful, it's insane. Even with Oriana, like there are champions, high risk, high reward champions, like Zed. You know, you you go behind a Zed and you're just fucked you have nothing to do even if you roam your abilities just don't deal damage your you, your abilities are not uh are not utilizable if you don't if you're not ahead or or at least like at the same level All right. so and I now guess, yeah i guess we'll wrap it up for this video and by the next yeah, video we will use uh, we'll talk about minion aggro and my next ideas are teaching them a bit more about the jungle which is my main which i can do better in explaining that's true so, uh, honestly honestly i believe like the most important roles in the in low elo is is mid and jungle mid and if you know what yeah. you're doing that is true it is very hard to carry games in other lanes top laners are ignored bot laners are trolling and bot lane champions are not strong enough to carry against a fed top laner or a mid laner especially a mid laner because at this meta, like you can barely do anything as an ADC if you don't have like one million dashes. Yeah, true. Like I, I think it's pretty hard to to climb the low elo ladder as like a bot laner. Uh, like me and Evan actually tried that before. Uh, we, we went to we, we went to bot lane and like we just lost in silver like so much because the mid laner, even though they're silver, fucking silver, but they're just they're so strong, you know, they're champions that there's nothing you can do against them. So you might as well just play, like I used to play uh, to climb out of the silver and, and all those other bullshit elos. I just played Graves mid or KL top and everyone would play like Hecarim jungle or like a, bru a bruiser or assassin, you know? Like when and, I and went support, I couldn't go support champions. I had to go mages just so I that's could true. We would help. You go like Vigar bot lane or some bullshit like that just to, just, just to win the, like we, we never lost lane. We never lost lane, but we would lose the games, you know. Yeah. Which is why, which is why I'm telling you, it's like it's 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 good that you won lane, but it's not important if your if your whole team is losing. 
you you are just gonna lose anyways. You might as well just roam. Even if your your laner starts getting fed, you might as well feed your own team so that they can compete, not just you. Right. Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much, man. Have a good day, and thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something from it. See you in the next video. <laughs> yeah, bye bye, bye guys. Bye.